is DDK, and I have a question for you. What is more important? Is it time or is it miles? Comment below and let me know. I hope you like my style. In today's video, we went out there and got busy. We had three loads from our carrier company. Load number one, we're about to go out here and get these funds. We are driving 17 deadhead miles, 33 miles loaded. So we're gonna drive 50 miles all together for 150. But we do have a <laughs> we got an issue, baby. It's the thing, right? We have to pick the load up at 5 p.m. and then we have to drop it off to the drop-off location the next morning at 6 a.m. but it's time for us to get this trim and that's dividends let's go and just like that i think we're here baby i have gotten lost i'm talking about i've been driving around the building this whole time i don't know where i'm at see i don't know where i'm at and what i'm supposed to do oh i guess i gotta ring the doorbell i don't know i'm lost <laughs> let me tell you right there you see the jeep here with you guys how you doing boss i have a, a load to pick up from you guys i don't know exactly where to go Alright, cool. Just go ahead and go down on the ramp on your left hand side. Okay. Go down that ramp and uh, there's gonna be a door on your right hand. Once you go down that ramp. Okay. Alright, appreciate it, boss. You have a good one. <coughs> My guy just got me right, baby. He said go down the ramp, ski. Bust that right? 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 See, they don't have any signs. That's the problem. They don't have any signs, no shipping and receiving signs or nothing. I don't think this is it either. So you go down the ramp and then bust the right. I think he's talking about that, but we're gonna see. We are going to see. Is this here shipping and receiving? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, appreciate it. I'm lost, man. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got lost trying to come here. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. Um, that's this guy right there. Okay. Yeah, going this door right here. How you doing, boss? I got a load to pick up from you guys. Going where? To Kenosha. To Kenosha? Yeah, it said, I got a van, so I'm sure it's, it's some small. It says like 300 or something. Oh, you said a phone number? No, you got a pro number, a tracking number. Most people here. You're just my first time here, so I don't know what's going on, but this is the paperwork they tell me to print. And they told you they were gonna pick yeah. it up today? Yeah, they told me to pick it up today at five and then drop it off tomorrow morning at six. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. yeah, this is not even here yet, man. It's not here? Nah. The jig is up. You remember, you remember the one that they were uh, it's Tuesday. emailing Brian about? You remember the one that we're supposed to get around to? Yeah, it's on Line Hall. Yeah. What is Line we Hall? We told them. It's over the road. Stuff. It's not our fault. It's, we told uh, them. Yeah. I don't know. They just told me to come here. See, if you look right here, you no, see us pick up at five right there? No. Yeah, no, this is this is still coming it's, out. So it's we not still here. Have to strip out the trailer and do all that extra stuff. Yeah, so you right. have no idea when it's gonna be here? No, it's not gonna be here yet. So I can check to see. Okay, maybe they can. Wow, they really want that freight. They want that piece. So thirsty, they thirsty. What? Man, they got me sitting here looking like a fool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this won't be here till another two hours. Uh, about an hour and a half. Then y'all gotta do all the other stuff. Now after. we have to unload it. And dig it out. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to dig it out. But yeah, well, but this won't be ready for another two, three hours. Because we have our whole out outbound operation. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know if they're going to want me to wait here. I definitely don't want to do that. I hear you, man. <laughs> I, will, I will contact your dispatch to see what's going on. But it'll buy, it's going to be a good probably. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell them it ain't here yet. Then they don't let them figure it out after that. They're gonna do it. They gotta do it. Appreciate you, boss. You guys have a good one. One hour later. I don't know why they're sending you guys out here when the freight's not ready. I mean, if it was ready, we would advise, hey, freight's ready, come pick exactly. it up. But it's not ready. Hey, that trailer ending in 3768. Your tail. Yeah. Hey, by chance, can you drop that one in the door? You can leave your. Uh, your lead in the, in the yard? Yeah, you, you'll, put, you'll pay me for it, right? Yeah, I got you. I'll pay you for it, but uh, just put the just put the tail in the in the door. Uh, put it into door, put it in door 91. What's going on? Sheesh! <laughs> I've been waiting for 3,000 hours, baby. Go ahead and get me together. Give me rice key. It's literally been two hours, y'all. Two hours on a dot. Don't get to this money, we ain't gonna never stop. 
mobil jadi sheesh it's freezing out here Second. Yeah, come straight in, pause. Yeah, keep straight ahead. Yep. If you can, can you put it right between the wheel wells if it's possible? Yeah. That light probably messing y'all up. I don't know if y'all can see this that good or not. Perfect. Appreciate you, boss. And just like that, it's time to hit the road. And tomorrow we gonna go. Let's go. The next day. It's six in the morning. We are trying to get this money. Get this money. I don't know why I'm supposed to go. I guess I'm about to stay right here and wait for somebody. Six in the morning. Comment below and let me know if you know about that. <laughs> and we are trying to get this money. Get this money. Yeah, we on the ground. Did you say we're Oh, I have to go in here? Okay. Good morning. I didn't know I was supposed to come in here. I have a job off of you guys, for you guys from um, Mundelein. Are you at a door yet or not yet? Yeah, I, mean, I have a van. I'm right here at this oh, first one. Okay. He's going to unload you. So you originally appointment was at 1130 and then for a different department, but they don't oh. get here till 7. So he's going to just unload you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. It could have been another headache. Thank you. Y'all see what's going on, baby. My guy about to get me right. That's an extend, y'all. Y'all see. Well, my cup came with an extension. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. I don't even know what to say about this, baby. The pickup, at the pickup, it was a complete disaster. I literally sit there for two hours and 10 minutes before they got everything situated. It was not the, the pickup location fault. It wasn't that they fault. It was either uh, the carrier company or it was the people who ordered the freight. It was one or the other. And they told me at the pickup location, they specifically told them that the order was not going to be ready at five o'clock. The freight was not even there. So the person who had the freight in their semi, they was coming from another state. They, they weren't gonna be there until, as you guys heard, he said like three hours later. So I, I literally waited two hours and 10 minutes and I only got an extra $10 for sitting there and waiting. Now, why did I only get an extra $10? I only got an extra $10 because in like the this whole you know, trucking thing, it's a thing called detention. And with detention, I only get paid a certain amount after I sit there for two hours. So after you wait two hours, I usually get $40 an hour every hour after the first two hours. The first two hours is free. So I only got an extra $10 for that for two hours and 10 minutes. We barely got any, but we had to do what we had to do. Now, the reason why I took this order is because I know you wonder, why would you take that? That's stupid. You you gotta sit there, is that sit at your house overnight and all that stuff? You're supposed to get more. Look, this is this was my whole mindset about taking this order. First off, let me just be honest. I didn't want to take the order in the first place. I was at home editing the video. The order came in. The suggested price was $150. I'm like, I really don't want to do it, but we tr I'm trying to get this money, understand me. So I'm gonna put it put it in at 150, right? Paul, I put the uh, bid in at 150. So they called me, let me know, we got the load. Go ahead and start heading there. The reason why I took this load in the first place, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not want to take it because it was already 5 p.m. The pickup time was 5 p.m. It was like four o'clock. It's not that far from my house. It was like uh, 35 minutes from my house to pick up the load, right? I didn't want to take it because I knew it was gonna be more traffic, but my whole theory behind taking this order was I'm gonna make $150. I'm gonna come out the gate at six in the morning and I'm gonna be already up 150 right there. So that's my whole theory about it. I know that some people may frown upon you letting it, you, you're supposed to get paid more for the layover because you stay in your van overnight and all that stuff. Man, look, I'm trying to get this money as fast as possible. So that was my whole theory behind taking this load. 
I know that I have to keep it overnight, but I, I, my whole thing is at the end, I don't have to pay for it in the beginning, but in the end, we gonna win. We gonna keep on getting these dividends. Now, low number two, get this money, is what we about to do. I know, I know, I know, I'm gonna tell you right now, baby. This is a pretty bad order. Just, hey, just listen to what I'm about to tell you. We are gonna drive 54 deadhead miles, 92 miles loaded, so 146 miles altogether for $200. Hey, when they hit me, they holler. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to explain everything, but it's time for us to go get this green. Let's go. Hey, how you doing, sir? Um, I have a load to pick up from you guys to go to Bensonville, Illinois. I say I have a load to pick up from you guys to go to Bensonville, Illinois. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye. And just like that, my guy about to get us right so we can get our pockets tight. You know what I'm talking about? I'm about to pull it up. I'm pulling up on you. It's actually pretty light stuff. So. Yeah, I think it's like 100, like 109 pounds or something like yeah. that. The lighter the better. <laughs> the lighter the better. Um, yeah, our logistics guy, we, we, he quit yesterday. Already quit, but his last day yesterday, so. The logistics guy, really? Yeah, I don't know if you know uh, uh, Jay. No. Oh, I've never heard of him before. Wow, really? So now you have to do everything by yourself? Yeah. I've seen stupid engineers have to do everything now. <laughs> <laughs> All you guys do is sit in the office, that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> and just like that, we gone. It's time for us to get it on, let's go. And we are here at the drop off. <laughs> It's time to knock their socks off, baby. It's time to ball like hot sauce, baby. <coughs> all right, so those top copies are your copies. Mm -hmm. The rest, so ones right here are our copies. So okay. what you do now, you're gonna hit that blue button right there in that gate. Uh -huh. And you're gonna wait in line with those guys, okay? Whenever they come and get you, show them this right here. Mm -hmm. Whenever they finish, they'll keep this one. So they'll sign those for you, all right? Okay, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your help. You have a good one. <coughs> I ain't get to put on a double camera for y'all, man. I had to get in and get out, baby. You know what I'm talking about? I try to do what I can do when I can do it and how I can do it. When I can do it and why I can do it. Thank you very much, you guys. Have a good one. Now, let's get right down to business. Why did I take this order? I asked you guys in the beginning of the video, which one is more important to you? Is it time or is it the miles? Comment, if you ain't comment below and let me know, comment below and let me know right now. Don't try to, hey, don't try to use what I use. Hey, tell me what you, tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel about which one is more important to you. Is it the miles or is it the time? Now, let me explain to you guys the reason why I initially took the order in the first place. I took this order in the first place because we had just dropped off that order at 6 a.m. The first order. We dropped that off at 6 a.m., right? So we come towards home, right? So I put in a few bids. We didn't get it. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. Then this one comes up and it's going from north. We were just up north. It's going north to south. I know when we get to south, that is where all the freight comes out. That's where every, everything comes out at, in that area. That's right by the airport. If you're familiar with the area, it's in the Des Plains, Bensonville, Wooddale, all that area right there. That's where everything flow out of. So I'm like, okay, cool. We're gonna shoot up here. It only took us one hour to get to the pickup location from where we was at. It took us one hour. And then it took us an hour and 30 minutes back to get to the drop-off location. So, we just made $200 in two and a half hours. Comment below and let me know, are you doing that? I know that the mileage is, you worry about the miles, 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 I understand, but we just made $200 in two and a half hours. If I had put $200 in two and a half hours on the title, you would've clicked it, right? You would've clicked that, and you would've said, yeah, I'm trying to make $200 in two and a half hours. I'm just saying, comment below and let me know. Now, I know you're gonna say this. What about the gas? I understand about the gas. We use less than a half a tank to do that. So our, it only gonna take like $60 to fill up the tank. So it, so we so take away $30. So we made $170 in two and a half hours. Come over below and let me know if you would do it or not. But guess what? We have another order. We're about to go out here and get an order. This one is one deadhead mile. 14 miles loaded. So 15 miles all together for $100. Come on below and let me know if you would go out there and pop your collar. Let's go. We here now. You old news. Got a couple Porsche trucks, a couple old schools. My guy Russ. Right on time. We are here on the grind. What's going on with you, boss? What you got? 
Uh, I got some going to Franklin Park. You want the number? I got the number if you need it. No, I got it. Oh, okay. We've got something else to check on it. Okay. I'll meet you in the back. All right, appreciate you, boss. Perfect. I'm good right there. Yep. <coughs> I gotta get this paperwork so we can make that paperwork. You did? Appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. Just like that, we gone. Y'all already know what time it is. We time for us to score. Let's go. How you doing? Hey. We meet again. Hey. We meet again. I'm doing great. Yourself? Yes, I'm pretty dirty. Sick hand. I'm dirty. Oh. What's up? Can you get another loaf? Yes, sir. I wish I had one every day, but I can't have them all. <laughs> My guy Ron, super cool dude. So how you been? I've been great. I can't complain. I woke up this morning. Some people didn't make it, so we got to be thankful for every day. I hear like they use some positive medicine hey. once in a while around here. And that's how it's supposed to be, Ron. That's how it's supposed to be. I understand life hard, but complaining ain't gonna change nothing. <laughs> it's still gonna be the same thing when you're done. That one got some weight to it, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Get some extra pain for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I wish I got took this for not the most, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. The brace are low right now, so. There it is. Thank you very much. You have a good one, sir. Hey, I explained everything and why I did what I did, baby. I understand that some people may disagree. Some people may agree. Some think, people may think that you tweaking. I'm messing up the race. I'm doing all this stuff. I'm doing, I ain't getting no money. I know, I, I know you think all of that right now, baby. We just made $460 in seven hours. Would you do that? Comment below and let me know. I know, I know about the gas. And I, me personally, I'm just going to tell you guys the truth. I'm choosing time over the miles every single time. It's not even, it's not even a question for me. This is why. Let me explain to you why, right? Why I choose the time over the miles? If you look at one of the orders, so say we in Chicago, right? We're downtown. We in Chicago getting busy, right? Their miles and my miles here is not the same thing. It's not even close. Five miles to Chicago may take you 40 minutes, 30 minutes, because all the traffic and everything. Five miles here is going to take you five minutes. That's how, that's how fast it's going to be, five minutes. So you do want to consider that while you are here trying to get busy. I know everybody has a different situation. Everybody lives in different areas. So, hey, your five miles is my, my five miles. My five miles is not your five miles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to throw them seeds up. Throw them seeds up before we go. Y'all already know. We're out there. Let's go. Get it popping like Crisco. I will see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.